Hi, I'm Nikki Shaw. Welcome to the Craft Kitchens. Mother Nature always inspires us, especially during the summer. Our sunflower cake shines with creativity and bursts with flavor by using break stones or newts and sour cream and cool whip whip topping. This whimsical peachy cake is great for your summer parties. So let's get started with the batter. First, we'll start with a large mixing bowl. Then one package of yellow cake mix. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now it's time for four eggs. Get ready for this. One cup of break stones or newts and sour cream. I know, but it adds moisture to your cake and it gives it a rich tangy flavor. Next, a half a cup of oil and then a half a cup of water. And I'm gonna blend it with an electric mixer. We have two round nine inch cake pans. Pour your batter into your cake pans, but here's the thing. Make sure that you have both pans well greased and floured. Spread your batter around just so that it bakes evenly. We're gonna bake our cakes in a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. I've let the cakes cool completely and it's important that you do that because you don't want your Cool Whip to melt. Our first layer is going to go upside down just to give us a nice even surface on top. I'm going to add 2 thirds cup of Cool Whip. I'm just going to frost the top of my cake and make a nice little bed for my peaches. I have one peach that I've sliced into 12 thin slices. I'm going to randomly place my peach slices all over. Make this recipe your own. Put your own spin on it. If you like nectarines, try nectarines. Now place the top layer on top of your bottom layer. And this time we're going to leave it straight up so it has a nice little rounded top. Now with our remaining Cool Whip, we're going to frost our cake on the top and on the sides. I'm going to arrange my peach slices on top to resemble sunflower petals. I have one cup of fresh blueberries that go in the center. Have you ever wondered how those beautiful fruit tarts have that shiny glaze on top? Well, we have one tablespoon of apricot jam mixed with one teaspoon of water. Mix it together, then lightly brush the sweet glaze on top of your fruit. Now I'll garnish with some fresh mint. Serve your cake immediately, and I know that won't be hard. And if you have any leftovers, just pop them in the fridge. If this cake doesn't say summer, I don't know what does. Give someone you love a taste of sunshine with this fantastic sunflower cake. Want more delicious dessert recipes? Search keyword cakes on craftfoods.com.